Good morning, first graders. Happy Wednesday today. Um, today is a science Zoom day. We have two um, science experiments that we're going to do that are a little bit shorter, and I haven't tried these ones yet, so we'll see how they go. But I also get to talk to some of you today to do, you guys get to do some reading with me, so I'm very excited for that. Um, today we're going to read Splat the Cat Dreams Big. I love Splat the Cat. It was time for bed. Splat brushed his teeth. A little bit closer for us. There we go. He combed his fur. Splat put on his favorite pajamas. Ready for stories? Asked his mom. Ready, said Splat. That funny drawing on his wall. I think it's cute. <laughs> Splat was a lucky cat because he got to hear three stories every night. His favorite books were about brave cats having daring adventures. He wished he were that brave sometimes. After the stories, it was time for him to go. His mom gave Splat a kiss and tucked him in. Good night. Sleep tight. As soon as his mom closed his bedroom door, Splat's tail wiggled worriedly. He didn't want to go to sleep. He was too afraid. The night, before, the night before, Splat had dreamed he was a prince who was trying to save Princess Kitty from the evil King Spike. But he couldn't defeat King Spike, and Splat fell into the moat with a splat. What if I have that bad dream again? He worried. Dad! He called out. Come quick, I'm scared! When his father came in, Splat asked him to check for scary things like monsters or dogs. His father looked under the bed and in the closet. There was nothing scary at all, just some ducks and dust bunnies. His father gave Splat a kiss and tucked him in. Now go to sleep. There's the dust bunnies and there's the ducks. But Splat was still worried. Mom, he called out, I'm thirsty. So his mom gave him some milk. Then she gave him a kiss and tucked him in. Now go to sleep. My parents used to give me warm milk with sugar to help me go to sleep. Has anybody tried that before? But Splat was still worried. He called out again and again. What's that noise? I think I have a hairball. I can't find my duck. By now it was very late. Splat's parents each gave Splat one final kiss and tucked him in. Now go to sleep. Dad's tired too. <laughs> Splat was still worried, but he had run out of ideas. And then the most spectacular thing happened. Splat fell asleep. He did have that dream again, but this time, Splat saved Princess Kitty Splat was a hero. The next morning, Splat couldn't wait to tell his parents about his dream. He acted out the fierce battle at the kitchen table. When he finished, Splat looked at the clock and frowned. What's the matter? asked his mom. I wish it were bedtime. I can't wait to have another adventure. I bet Splat's mom and dad are probably happy that he's excited for bedtime too because then they get to sleep. Crazy. Um, that's it for today. It's kind of a shorter story, but I'm excited to get to see some of you in our Zoom and to get to talk to some of you on the phone today. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Stay warm in the rain. It's kind of yucky out again today. And I will see you guys today or tomorrow for another story. Bye.